13th October 1911 A prophetic day Just a few minutes ago Margaret Elizabeth Noble has breathed her last Margaret Elizabeth Noble The world knows her better as Sister Nivedita I was born to a big and affluent Irish family The date was 28th October 1867. I was born in Duncannon in Tyrone County. My father Samuel Noble was a priest and a great scholar. My mother Mary Noble was a teacher. I grew up under their canopy. Margaret grew up and transformed into a beautiful young woman, refined, accomplished, educated, and talented. She showed keen interest in subjects as diverse as physics, art, music, and literature. Yet there was a vacuum. What was she missing? What was she searching for? a majestic personage clad in saffron gown and wearing a red waistband he sat there on the floor cross-legged if he had not come to london that time my life would have been a directionless journey he taught me what life is Calcutta 1899 People begging on streets homeless and starving people everywhere people without any resources but but a strong desire to live I saw them and felt in my heart something beating fast It was the call for change It was the call of Swami Vivekananda Welcome to India Margaret I will introduce you to the people on 11th March 1898 at Star Theatre Come Margaret I will rename you Your new name is Nivedita Here is a gift from England. England has sent us another gift. Miss Margaret Noble, Sister Nivedita. Ah. 
Swamiji wanted me to spread education among the girls of this country. And thus, you first intended to open a school for the girls. 13th November 1898. The girls' school started its journey. Sharada Ma was the greatest inspiration. I am indebted to her. She did not understand my tongue, nor did I understand hers. Yet, we talked silently. A great loss, like a deafening clap of thunder, overtakes the mundane humdrum of daily chores. When Swami Vivekananda breathes his last in 1902, Nivedita is overwhelmed when the cloth covering her master is blown by a sudden gust of wind and carried to her, even as the flames from the pyre leap into the sky. She humbly accepts the cloth and carries it with her for the rest of her life. And as time moves on, she devotes herself to the Indian National Movement. and helper in Sister Nivedita. Sister Nivedita, a champion for the cause of freedom, a true disciple of Swami Vivekananda. She, who had a mother's heart, a hero's will, and a friend's loving spirit, we must carry forward her teachings and ideals so that India awakens to life and freedom, to a new dawn where the mind is without fear and the head is held high. Don't you know it? Don't you know it?